The nests of our plovers, like the crown plover, the wattled plover, and the blacksmith plover, don't amount to much more than a shallow depression in the ground. The eggs are well camouflaged and well hidden from the sharp eyes of predators. The kitlet's plover even goes a step further. As soon as it sees danger approaching, it covers up its eggs by scratching loose pieces of grass and sand over them, making them very difficult to find. Temminck's courser makes its nest in burnt-off areas of felt. Its eggs are almost black, so they match their surroundings perfectly. Practically as soon as a young plover hatches, it must be ready to run around with its parents. This is why the egg of a plover is so much bigger than, say, that of a dove. The dove's chicks are completely helpless at birth and must be fed and looked after for several weeks before they can fend for themselves. The plover's chicks have to be in an advanced stage of development when they hatch, so obviously the eggs have to be bigger. As we've already seen, the chicks are masters of camouflage and difficult to find when they lie completely still.